It sucked. It sucked. And then BAM! It's been quite a weekend in baseball, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Sooner Sun 2 Sports Show. What position do you play? What number do you have to do? Well, this side is uh, way too long for me to have to show you. Me, as I was. Samuel Bradford Day. <sighs> to our Texas Rangers tonight, guys, for just snapping a four-game losing streak by defeating the Minnesota Twins 5-3 in the third game of our three-game series with them here in Arlington, of which I just got back from. And it was crazy, guys. Just seriously crazy. I also went to the game... Uh, the first game of the series of the Minnesota Twins, Friday night, uh, uh, crap, did I leave it in my other pants? There we are. Yeah, there we go. Look at that right there. That was Friday night. Not so good. We ended up losing 5-3. to <laughs> No, I'm sorry. We, we won 4-3 to tonight. No, was it 5-3? to three? Yeah. Either way, we won. That's the important thing. But on Friday night, and I noticed this was a trim with all three games that we've had with the Minnesota Twins, our scoring capability was not there. I mean, we had, we had great pitching efforts the first time we faced the Twins on, on the part of Padilla. And uh, you, you had to give him crops. He held, uh, he held the Twins scoreless for inning after inning after inning. He did everything we could. It was up to us, at the bat, to get the hits in. And Minnesota has very good outfielders. They're a very well-coordinated team. I can't necessarily say which of the teams was better in this series. I mean, obviously the arrow would point to Minnesota since they have won two out of three. They've won the series, but they sure as heck didn't sweep us. And there, there was always that one annoying Minnesota Twins fan in the section I was sitting. They were most likely drunk and just cheering obnoxiously loud in the section for every single player, every single Minnesota player who came up to bat or to pitch or to throw or to catch or just standing outside. It just got really, really annoying. And I really wish they had stayed for all the extra innings to see the end. And, uh, you know, all the little Twins fans with their little brooms. Yeah, we, yeah, we pretty much snapped them in two at the end of tonight. But um, through, throughout the series, we saw very solid feeling. There was very solid feeling, feeling going around for the most part. Now, the, there are, of course, a couple slip-ups, which in baseball can be very, very deadly, and we let the runs get ahead of us, and when you're facing a, a team as well-coordinated and organized, and as good as the Twins are, you know, you can't allow that. And one of the problems was we were just, we would get into a rut scoring-wise, and then we would just lose faith. And as a Texas Rangers fan, that, that, that's just frustrating because we, we just have a nasty habit of, around this point of the season, dropping game after game after game and, and losing whatever lead we had. And we're on the verge of doing that right now. But they, they, they were just losing their faith and just standing out there going, well, uh, this, this sucks, but uh, what can we do? Well, we changed that tonight. Uh, there was a danger when we went down. Um, when we went down three to one, there was that danger of everyone just standing around, just taking this, and the Angels of Anaheim were just winning and winning and winning. And even with this win, I believe we're still three games behind them for the lead in the AL West. But they just came out today. It ended up in a tie. And went into extra innings. And Ian Kinsler, book 
ending home runs. He came in with a home run, and he walked off with a home run to win the game at the end. Oh my gosh, it kept going into inning after inning. I think we were, I think we were in the 12th inning, which I guess isn't really all that bad concerning it, but CJ Wilson comes in and just shuts the Twins down for two straight innings, but we still can't produce at the bat for two straight innings. And then Nippert comes in, Dustin, D Dustin Nippert, I think I said that right, Nippert, he comes in and shuts out the Twins for a third time, and here I am, sitting in the stands, my voice is hoarse, I'm exhausted, we're all hot, and at this point we're just saying, we better win this game. We better come out at the end of this and win this game. Because if we want to ever be considered worthy for any standing in the AL West, we better freaking win this game. And it came right down to the wire. Kinsler, I believe, had two strikes against him. Bottom of the 12th inning, if we didn't get this right here, two outs, if we didn't get this, we were going into extra innings. Again. And there's only so many times you can shut down a team. And what does Kinsler do? He hits a home run. Man, I, I got to give a lot of props to C.J. Wilson for shutting down the Twins as well as Nippert, and I got to give I got to give props to Salty who kept getting onto those bases, kept hitting singles just over the players' heads, rolling on the ground to get to the base. Guys, it, it was just a wonderful, wonderful effort. Minnesota, you're a really great team. I can't really say we were the better team in the series. Obviously, I can't because you won two out of three. You won the series. But we definitely sent you home with a loss this time. And we made a statement saying, you know what? We're tired. We're mad as hell. We're going to take this game. And we did. Tonight was just a really great effort by the Rangers, guys. And that's really all I got to say. A Friday night, I really was disappointed. But, hey, I, I got plenty of... Uh, free taco coupons, so I still consider it a win, you know? Anyway, I'm Sooner Sun 2. That's all I gotta say, guys. I'll see you guys later. Tacos!